Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing good and having a great day. So in the last couple of days, the search for missing five-year-old girl, Summer Wells, has been back in full force and it does now seem that the search is winding down. And is there some particular reason for the search other than the trees dropping their leaves and the foliage having cleared since the last time the search was done a few months back? So what I find really interesting about this, guys, is perhaps it is purely because of the overgrowth and the foliage now being cleared or lesser, so it's easier to search. Or has a tip been called in? Has someone reported something to the police or the TBI? And is that why so many people are out again searching for summer? In one of Ziggy's recent videos, she played a call that a woman has recently had with Don Wells this particular person, this woman, wishes to remain anonymous. But in this call, what I found really interesting is that Don said it's not going to be long and he's going to be arrested again. The call apparently took place around two weeks ago, but did Don know then that the search was once again going to be underway in such a big capacity? So many people out looking for summer. Was he thinking then, I'm in trouble here? Does he know something that we don't? Yeah, you know, yeah, man. This world's getting so freaking evil. It's freaking unbelievable, man. I know. It's scary. Well, don't forget her address. I won't. Put it on and keep it. I'll put it in my company. phone and I'll keep it. I won't ever be here, but my wife will be here and my boys will be here hopefully soon. But I won't ever be here. Yeah. You work a lot. I have my ass locked up pretty soon, I'd say. You're not getting locked up, Bobby. I don't think Make you're sure going to get locked up. I think you're going to be busy uh, working. <laughs> I am going to be locked up soon. No, you won't. Don't touch my phone, bitch. He's not going to get... Don't call me a bitch. He searched my phone. Has he heard of something being reported to the police? And he's not telling us? And just how and why... Has Don managed to mostly stay off of YouTube for the past two weeks? I really hope that the renewed search effort for Summer brings up something, some sort of evidence is found, something that could possibly tell us what really happened to Summer. And I just hope and I keep praying every day that that precious little girl is going to be found safe. Obviously, I have no idea whether Summer is going to be found safe or if Summer is still alive. I have my doubts and I don't think Summer is still alive, but I hope I'm wrong. I just keep hoping maybe she's with Grandma, because God knows where she's gone. Or maybe she's stashed up with a friend somewhere. I just hope that all the theories that we've all been discussing for the past five months with Summer potentially being killed, an accident that was covered up, Summer being sold. I hope that none of that is true. I just hope and I just pray that that little girl is out there somewhere. And let's hope this search gets some positive results. I have got such a suspicious mind that I do wonder, has some sort of tip come into the TBI, which is why they're now out searching? If that was true, I don't think they'd tell us what the tip was. But the level of police and search team members and volunteers that I've seen in footage on the internet today, I was actually quite shocked and impressed and, and pleased to see just how many people are out in Rogersville in Hawkins County, Tennessee, searching for missing five-year-old Summer Wells. Just going back to this telephone call that Ziggy has recently shared, there were quite a lot of shockers, as usual guys, from Don and Candace, quite a lot of bickering, quite a lot of swearing, generally kicking off, and a lot of weirdness, as per usual. I have no clue or idea who this woman is, that wishes to remain anonymous and even if I did know who I thought it was I obviously wouldn't say because she wishes to remain anonymous but whoever this woman is I do find it quite a mystery I have found myself wondering just why does she need to remain anonymous does she have a YouTube channel is she friends with someone that has a YouTube channel I'm just more interested in why they wish to remain anonymous not who they are but why they don't want us to know who they are but that's just me, guys, and my very suspicious mind.
as I said, there was a lot of shockers during that call that Don and sort of Candace and this anonymous woman had on Ziggy's Live. It didn't go on on Ziggy's Live. I don't want to give you misinformation there. Ziggy was given access to this phone call from the woman that wishes to remain anonymous and Ziggy played it back on her channel. Lots came from it and I'm going to be making some other videos giving my thoughts and views on just what I heard and my concerns about it. Well, anyway, guys, I hope, like me, you've seen the news that a massive search is once again underway for Summer Wells. I really, really, really do hope that this search proves positive, just something that could prove where Summer went. Did she leave the property of her own accord? Was she taken by someone? Was there an accident that was covered up? All the theories that we've gone through over the past five months, could one of them be true? I will be really interested to see whether this renewed search for Summer provides positive results and I really hope that it does. Well anyway guys, I hope you're all well and having a great day and as always, I'm going to be back with you all very soon for another true crime video. Bye for now.